a couple flankers for your face. YouTube's favorite designer fragrance tournament continues. The clock starts now. Wildcard season. Wildcard number eight goes head to head versus wildcard number 19. What's going on, YouTube fragrance family? Welcome to Mark Madness to see which fragrance will be YouTube's king of the designer game. The contestants today, let's go with the wildcard number 19. That is uh, Le Mal, Essence de Parfum. And wildcard number eight is the one that it's going head to head against and it's La Nuit de l'Homme, L'Intense. So a couple flankers here, uh, some lukewarm uh, flankers in the community. There's a lot of YouTubers that don't like both these flankers. I like them both. I do. I like them for what they are. Um, so wild card number eight versus number 19. They're both situated in Mr. Siage's bracket. Go check out his channel, link is down below. Now let's take a look at the contestants a little more in depth if you don't know much about these fragrances. So I'll give you a little rundown here. We'll start with the underdog. And that is Le Mal Essence. Again, with these wild cards, there's no real rhyme or reason here as far as the underdog goes, just because my top 100, that made a little more sense. This is just a whole bunch of wild cards coming through. So the, the rating system's kind of skewed on this one. So Le Mal Essence, yeah, a great flanker in my opinion. Still sweet. Uh, there's a lot of sweetness here. They both have some sweetness to them. Um, they are really gearing towards the new generation in our YouTube community, the younger generation. Um, a great flanker, in my opinion. Still sweet with the vanilla. There's tonka bean in this one. Um, there's leather, which is interesting. Aromatic lavender from the original. Heavy cardamom here. That is the note du jour. Um, a lot of these new flankers have cardamom in them. This one works really well with the cardamom. Um, I need to review both of these, actually. Um, excellent longevity with this one. Good projection. One of the better Lamals that is not tagged with Francis K. Um, so, good job by Jean-Paul Gauthier or Puig. Now on to La Nuit de l'Homme. L'Intense. So... The hate on this one is because it wasn't an intense version of La Nuit de l'Homme. That's what everybody wanted, um, just because of reformulations to the original La Nuit. They were really hoping for something, just bring back the old La Nuit, right? I look at this flanker, like, just as itself. So uh, I look at it on its own. So this one also has some sweetness with it. It's got some Tonka, just uh, the same type of Tonka formu formula utilized in, in both of these fragrances. Very sweet. Um, a little different. It's got more florals in this fragrance. It's got some iris, some violet floral aspects. I really do like this flanker more. Even though it's not that popular in our community, I really, really like this one. Good longevity, average projection. It's not a bomb. Um, perfect for a winter day or flip it, fall night. I'm really... Two really solid flankers in front of me right now. All right, Flanker City, you guys get to vote. Now, if you're new to this, let's take out the rule book. The rules are simple. I present to you two fragrances. You have a YouTube name. You can comment below. One comment per YouTube name, and that comment is your vote. Pretty simple, straightforward. One of these fragrances is going to move on. The next one, the one that loses, is out of here. There's a 24-hour shot clock. Once I upload this video, there's 24 hours that goes through. You guys pepper my comment section, and then I close her up after 24 hours. You can still comment, but your vote won't count after the 24 hours. I usually put in brackets closed, which means she's closed. Uh, if you want to follow along, there are PDFs down below. Uh, there's a link down below that you can uh, download it. You can... Uh, print it, uh, keep it on your desktop if you wish to do so, and you can follow along and see the, the brackets and see what's next as far as who's going against who. We do have some results that are in. It's Gucci Gang <laughs> City today. Uh, we have, of course, Gucci Intense Oud and Gucci Guilty Absolute 2. Great Gucci's. The return of Gucci is right here in front of my face. <laughs> the results are close. So close. I think it's the closest. 45 to 44. See, George, you should have voted. <laughs> With the score of 45 to 44. Absolute's gone. 
I'm not heartbroken. I, I love Absolute, but I love this one too. This is a, a well-constructed fragrance, so it's a win-win for me, I think. Um, this one moves on. We'll see who it goes against in the second round. I want to thank everybody that voted in that bracket. Everybody that's voting right now, merci beaucoup, j'apprécie ça. And on to the next one.